game of the season against Heinz Utica. Still looking for that first ba basket of the 2014-15 season. Collins is going to tip off here against Shannon Defoe, a sophomore forward who's played in all 12 of the games so far for the Lady Lions. Collins wins it, nearly knocks it out of bounds, and it will hit off of the scorer's table before Ashley Howard could run it down. Collins gets the victory, but it proves to be a Pyrrhic one as the possession goes to East Mississippi. Six and six versus two and nine. Controlling right now, it's Kiki Patterson. She gives it over to Camry Jones. Now it is Johnson. Now Durham. Once again, Patterson. Sisk guarding tightly against Jones there, who gives it back to Patterson. They finally get it inside. Taking the turnaround there was Defoe, but she cannot get it to go. Erica Collins with the big rebound. We told you that Collins reeled in 12 rebounds against Heinz Utica on the season, averaging 8.5. That does lead this Lady Tiger team. Nearly a careless pass there from Howard. Jones controls after hitting it off her foot. Takes it slowly in. Now she's picked up and will give it back to Sisk. Eight seconds on the shot clock. She bounces it into Collins. Collins, baseline long jumper. You got it. Erica Collins gets the Lady Tigers on the board. Excellent work by her to knock that down. Other way, it's East Mississippi. We have a whistle here away from the ball, and it looks like it's a three-second call. Kahoma gets it back once again. That's good stuff so far from the Lady Tigers. Again, both their wins this season have come on this floor. Very comfortable playing here in front of the home fans who are continuing to file in. The cheerleaders are in the house. Ashley Howard, she's in the house, has the ball, tries to get into the lane, and she walked. Picked up by a couple of East Mississippi defenders. She tried to split them but just took a half step too many without bouncing it on the parquet. Kiki Patterson near side, ahead to Durham. Durham being marked by Totten, goes back out to Johnson. They'll work it inside here to Durham once again. Durham lost it there, but it hit off of a Lady Tiger. It'll stay on this end. Lady Tigers tonight wearing the all-white uniforms, East Mississippi in black tops trimmed with red, red shorts trimmed with black. Bounce pass there to Johnson. She's picked up by Howard. Good defense by the Lady Tigers, though Patterson has a pretty open three there. She can't convert once again. Collins on the board. Erica Collins exerting her will on the glass. Now a quick pass from Howard to Jones. She manages to grab it, puts it up. You got it, Ariel Jones. Excellent work to stay with it, and she capitalizes to make it a 4-0 lead. Durham. Marked closely by Totten there. She knocked it away. Durham stuck with it. Her pass there to Johnson knocked out of bounds. And the Lady Tigers once again will have it on their own baseline to bring out. East Mississippi going to the full court press. This is something we've seen the Lady Tigers struggle with to some extent here this season. Jones near side beats Patterson. Gets it across the timeline. Tries to go back to Howard. Lost it. Collision. It went out of bounds. It will be Lady Tiger ball. There on the sideline, Howard and Durham collided there right in front of the scorer's table. Both appear to be okay, though, and will remain in the game. Sisk and to Totten. Josta over to Ashley Howard. Howard, we said, still looking for those first points. Won't get it there. Rebound East Mississippi. That'll be credited to Johnson. Johnson again averaging almost 10 rebounds a game. On the other end, Patterson pulls up and snipes one for two. East Mississippi now on the board. 17-28 to go here in the first half. Jasmine Leonard from Memphis preparing to check into the game for the Lady Tigers. Meanwhile, Totten working against Anesia Dunham. Dunham, a freshman guard who is making her 11th start for the Lady Lions. Sisk will try a three. Oh! Bank is open, and Amber Sisk makes the withdrawal. Some might call that a lucky bounce. I'd call it shooter's touch. Amber Sisk, a marksman from out on the wing. And she gets herself a triple there, 7-2. East Mississippi can't respond there as Jones misses the lay in. Siskel control, bring it across herself. Amber had two threes against Heinz Utica. Drops back to Ashley Howard. It goes over to Totten. Totten averaging about 11 points a game. She's had a solid year for CCC. Plans to attend Alabama A&M next season. She pulls back there, can't get it. Ariel Jones couldn't quite 
corral the rebound, and Ashley Johnson grabbed it. Now East Mississippi charging the other way. Easy layup blown by Durham, and Totten will clean up the mess. Tries to go to Collins, and that ball is tipped away and stolen there by Ashley Johnson, who's been all over the floor so far for East Mississippi. Jones trying to go coast to coast, little baby hook off the glass to make it 7-4. Looks like East Mississippi is about to sub en masse. Four Lady Lions waiting to enter this contest. Totten over to Howard. Howard looking to go inside to Collins. She's being denied, though, by Johnson. Howard will try to take it herself. Pull up. No roll. Rebound Defoe, a sophomore forward. Patterson goes back to Jones. Jones to Defoe. Now back to Durham. Durham guarded there by Totten. And East Mississippi will start things over. 12 on the shot clock, 15-34 on the game clock. Great pass right there. That was Kiki Patterson going to Ashley Johnson. And Johnson finished it off. First points of the game, I believe, for her. 7-6, now your score. Totten setting things up. Howard near wing. Dangerous bounce pass there to Sis, but she manages to grab it. 11 on the shot clock now. Amber trying to make a move into the lane. Pulls up, you got it. Amber Sisk talking about a couple of great games in a row. Hines Utica, she was terrific, and here tonight she's been very good. Unfortunately, East Mississippi is able to respond with at least two as Shannon Defoe gets the layup and the foul on Erica Collins. Collins, second on this Lady Tiger team in fouls. That's her 44th personal of the year. She averages just about four a game. And the Lady Tigers, especially with Gabby Gilbert no longer with the team, are going to need Erica to stay in there as long as possible. Erika Blair is going to sub in, and it looks like Collins will come out with just one personal. This is something that Forrest has done, especially as the year has gone on, sort of preserving Collins in the first half, keeping her on the bench, and trying to maximize her minutes in the second half down the stretch. Again, Collins very, very good against Heinz Utica, but did foul out in the last minute. Her replacement, Erika Blair, grabs that board, and she's going to try to take it up herself. Gets it across the timeline. Blair, a 5'10", sophomore forward, dumps it on back to Josta Totten. Erika Blair is third on the team in field goal percentage. She kind of flies under the radar, but shoots at 42.9% from the field on this season. Nothing wrong with that at all. Totten here, three, oh, yeah! Split the net, Jasta Totten put three more up on the big shiny scoreboard. 12-8, Lady Tigers having their way so far. Cambriel Campbell, one of the replacements, gave it over to TJ Harper there. Jernigan over to Campbell again, and Campbell can't get that. East Mississippi beats the Lady Tigers to the rebound. It went out of bounds. We'll see which way it's going, and it looks like it's going to stay here. Subbing out is Shannon Defoe, subbing in Alicia Gibbs, number 22, a sophomore forward for the Lady Lions. Campbell in the corner being guarded closely there by Jasmine Leonard, graduate of White Station High. She'll see more time now as the season goes on. Bree Jernigan up top here working against Totten. Totten, very, very good defender. I believe she's leading the team in steals. They work it inside to Vaughn. She can't get that to go against Jones. Grabs her own bound, goes back up, and is fouled. I think this one will go against Ariel Jones. No, it'll go against Arika Blair. Arika Blair with her first personal foul. Lady Tigers second in this young contest. 13.38 to go here in the first half. We're only about 6.22 into it. But it's been a pretty quick 6.22. First one there from Vaughn, nothing but net. 12-9 on the season. Vaughn shooting it at a 50% clip from the line, so you would think that she would miss this one. But she defies expectations and rolls one home, using the wrist to flush it on down. Jones back to Totten. Totten, primary ball handler and inbounder. Of course, she is the daughter of the legendary Willie Totten of Mississippi Valley State University fame. Josta making a name for herself here at CCC. 
won't get that one. Rebound East Mississippi. It bounced off a couple of Lady Tigers. Cambrielle Campbell ended up with it. She tries to go to Gibbs. That's stolen by Sisk. They're going to call a jump ball, though, and it will be Lady Tigers' possession. 13-11 to go in the half. Lady Tigers with the ball once again. They're going to have to beat this press. Rika Blair going to take a turn inbounding here. Looking for Sisk. Sisk being marked closely there by Jernigan, though. Goes to Totten. Totten lost it, and it's stolen by number 20, T.J. Harper. Harper drops it back to Jernigan, and East Mississippi has the advantage and the ball. Stifling defense there. Keeps the Lady Tigers pinned down in their own zone. They work it inside again. Great cut by Harper, but she can't finish it off. Erika Blair there for the rebound. Blair, again, sort of flies under the radar, but she's turning in a nice game already. Sisk just holding. Bounce pass to the aforementioned Blair. Is going to try to drive, and she is tripped. It's going to be a pushing foul here on number 22, Alicia Gibbs. That'll be her first, team's first. Blair, this is her 12th appearance for the Lady Tigers this season. Averages 3.5 rebounds a game, about 3.5 points in just about 17 minutes. A contest goes in the corner here to Totten. Totten, three ball, no good. Totten now one for three from beyond the arc. It's missed her last two after sinking the first. Under 12 and a half. East Mississippi working it around in the perimeter. Watch for that backdoor cut, though. That's what they've been going to all game. Jernigan tried to take it herself, but she traveled. Bree Jernigan was thinking floater, but the refs were thinking walk. They'll give it right back to the Lady Tigers. Bit of a scoring drought here for both teams. Totten. Neither has scored in their last possession. Totten might change that right here, though. Oh, she's blocked and blocked hard by Alicia Gibbs down there on the block. Bree Jernigan will come down the near side, picked up by Leonard. Switching here defensively for the Lady Tigers. They're set now. T.J. Harper going against Amber Sisk. Harper to Campbell, pull up from the free throw line. Can't get it, and Erika Blair grabs it and hands it off to Josta Totten. Totten, our Athlete of the Week, a couple weeks before the Christmas break. Sisk, our original Athlete of the Week for the women's team, knocks down a, another three-pointer. Amber Sisk, six points in the game now, second three. She is really finding her stroke as this season goes on. Keep on knocking them down, Amber. Backdoor pass again here for EMCC, but they are not capitalizing as T.J. Harper blows yet another layup. Some great pass work, but... Without the finish, it amounts to little. Jasta Totten, maybe a long two there, maybe a three. Couldn't tell if her foot was on the line. It was an air ball, though. It'll be East Mississippi ball. Timeout on the... She had six points. She actually has eight. Six of them have come via three. Everyone for East Mississippi ha who has scored has two. They have five different players who have put in a bucket, and right now they stand at 10 points to the Lady Tigers' 15. This one's going to go the other way as an offensive foul is committed by East Mississippi. Shannon Defoe, number 25, with a block. That's going to be her first personal foul, team's second. Just under 11 minutes to go here in the first period. Erika Blair is going to inbound. For the Lady Tigers right now, it's Jasmine Leonard, Ariel Jones, Sisk, Totten, and the inbounder, Erika Blair, is having trouble getting it in. We have a whistle, and we have a five-second violation. Erika Blair... Just could not find anyone who was open. Some more stifling defense on this full court press for the East Mississippi team. Leonard's going to guard the ball here, but East Mississippi will get it in. It's Durham turning a corner, going to the bucket, and Blair says not today. Oh, Arika Blair. We've been singing her praises all night, and she gets the huge rejection right there. Now she's got the ball at the top of the key, trying to drive, will kick it back to Leonard. Leonard to Totten, 17 on the shot clock, 10 and a half on the game clock. Totten with the bounce pass there to Blair, and it was picked off by Durham. Good defense. Durham in the corner to Patterson. Patterson gets that one to fall, and it was a long two, 15-12. Now your score, still in favor of the Lady Tigers. Totten trying to drive, turns a corner at Durham, throws it up off the back iron, and Ashley Johnson right there for the rebound. Jones once again rejected by Blair. Oh, Erika Blair. Just a brick wall down there on the block tonight. Nothing getting by her. Totten over to Jasmine Leonard, and Leonard is going to go to the hot hand Sisk. Again, she has eight points. 
Sisk gets a pick there from Jones. Thought about pulling up. Pass back to Totten. She has it long two. No good. Jones grabbed it briefly. Was knocked out of bounds. And it looks like some folks in the crowd were looking for an over-the-back call there. No foul call, but it will be Lady Tigers ball on the inbound. Ashley Howard checks back into the game. She will inbound it. Looking for someone. She throws it back out to Sisk. 9.35 to go here in the first half. Sisk back to Howard. Howard thinking three. She'll take it. Can't quite get it. Leonard knocked the rebound away. and looks like they whistle her for an over-the-back violation there. That's going to be Jasmine Leonard's first, team's third. Pretty disciplined. First 10 and a half minutes for both teams. Only a total of five fouls committed between these two squads. It's Johnson here on the high elbow being guarded by Jones. Gives it off to Durham. Durham banks one home and one. Jasmine Leonard picks up her second foul in the last minute, trying to prevent that bucket. She cited for a block. And it is going to be Anicia Durham, who on the season is shooting it at a 68% clip from the line. Taking this free opportunity for East Mississippi. She can't quite tie the game up with that one. And Erika Blair grabs the board. Blair power dribbling it down the center of the floor. Goes to the far side, gets it across the timeline, hands it off to Howard. Howard. Good ball handler, good third guard option for the Lady Tigers. Crosses over a defender there and banks it home. Ashley Howard, first points in a Lady Tiger uniform this year. Makes it 17-14. Sisk on the other end, pokes it away. But picking it back up is Camry Jones. She can't convert, grabs her own rebound though, and finishes the job this time. 17-16, 8.40 to go in the first half. Howard, now that she's got her first bucket, let's see if she can pour in a lot more. She loses it there. Other way, it's Durham off of the steal there. And East Mississippi takes their first lead. 18-17. Momentum shifts a little bit as Durham puts in a bucket. Howard over to Leonard. She'll try a three. Too strong. Rebound East Mississippi. Defoe grabbed it. Gave it out to Patterson, who tried that quick pass to Johnson. Looked like Johnson was fouled there. Push out of bounds, maybe by Leonard. And that is indeed the case. Jasmine Leonard now with three fouls here in the first 12 minutes of this game. Bit uncharacteristic for Jasmine Leonard. But she is in a little bit of trouble. Totten getting ready to go back in the game for the Lady Tigers. Ashley Johnson, no good there. And Todd is going to sub back in, take out Ashley Howard. It's Leonard Blair, Jones, Sisk, and Totten out there for CCC. You just saw that the Lady Lions subbed en masse. And it looks like they have one more sub waiting here to take out Johnson, who switches that one home to make it 1917. Robin Rush is going to relieve Johnson here. Rush. Averages just one minute per game. It's not started this season making her 11th appearance. She does put in four points per minute though. So I guess she does get it on the floor, get it done on the floor when she's on it. Sisk splits a couple of defenders. Nice bounce pass there to Jones, but looks like she traveled first. Amber Sisk. Trying to dish it off there, but is cited for the violation. East Mississippi will bring it the other way. It's Bree Jernigan giving it off to Harper. Back to Jernigan, who's being guarded by Leonard. Jernigan, pass inside there to Gibbs. Gibbs trying to back down Jones. Spin move, and she rolls it on through. 21-17, biggest lead of the game here for East Mississippi. And now Denitra Forrest needs a timeout. Her team looked like they were struggling there to get the inbound. We'll go ahead and take a breather ourselves. 30-second timeout by the Lady Tigers. We'll be right back after this on CahomaSports.com. Your home for Tiger and Lady Tiger Athletics. Got 
And welcome back to ComaSports.com, your home for Tiger and Lady Tiger Athletics. Ariel Jones trying to inbound it here for Kahoma. She's got Sisk, Leonard, and Totten down there. Manages to get it to Totten. Totten will have to go down the far side against Bree Jernigan. And Totten, an excellent, excellent ball handler, is going to get it across the timeline. If you're just joining us, it's been a bit of a problem here for the Lady Tigers. They've struggled a little bit with the full court press. Now Totten slips and Jernigan makes her pay grabbing the steal. She'll hold it up here on the other end. It is basketball homecoming week here at CCC. Lady Tigers and Tigers will play their homecoming games on Saturday. Robin Rush in a bit of a rush. She traveled there, turning it back over to the Lady Tigers. But this Saturday, Southern University Shreveport will come to town. The Port City Jags and Lady Jags are going to make the trip up here to Clarksdale. Looking forward to see th seeing them. Blair gets the pass from Totten. Great spin move. Couldn't finish it, but she was tripped, and there is a foul on the floor. We'll see who this goes against. But Arika Blair with a, another terrific move. It'll go against Cambrielle Campbell, who sided for the push. Campbell puts Arika Blair on the free throw line. Blair will fire the first of two. Blair knocks it down. On the season, shooting 41.7% 41 per, 41 from the line. Pretty good free throw shooter. Second chance, even better than the first. 21-19, CCC cutting down the East Mississippi lead. Lady Tigers have led for most of it, but Lady Lions have come on strong as of late. It's Gibbs giving it off here. Totten marking Campbell. Now it's Bree Jernigan. Jernigan finds an open Jones, pardon, Harper. It's guarded by Sisk. Back to Jernigan who drives on Leonard with seven on the shot clock. She kisses one home. Off the glass, they'll have to wipe that down with Windex after the game. East Mississippi really giving it a workout. Jasta Totten over to Sisk once again. Sisk will just hold it above her head. Sisk trying to cross over defender here. That's TJ Harper. Bounce pass back, back to Totten. Looks like EMCC is preparing to sub end mass once again. Blair tries to set up a pick for Totten, who instead goes over to Sisk. Seven on the shot clock. Blair on the low block gives it to Jones. Jones powers it home. Ariel Jones. Now talk about another player who's been really great as of late. Ariel Jones having a phenomenal season. She had the highest individual performance in terms of rebounds for the Lady Tigers. That came on December 11th against Arkansas Baptist. Grabbed 16 boards. Best rebounding game of the season for CCC. Driving here is Harper. She tries a floater over Blair. Was knocked down, no call. Ball's tipped out of bounds. It's going to be Lady Tiger possession, but not before East Mississippi once again sends a new platoon on the floor. But Ariel Jones is, is just doing great this year, folks. We don't want to underplay her in any way. She is making her 12th start of the season for the Lady Tigers. Averages 28 minutes a game, shooting at 60.3% from the field. And she's good for about 9 or 10 points every game. Totten floater. Nothing doing. Looked like she was called for an offensive foul there. That is going to be a charge on Josta Totten. Close game here at the pinnacle. First time that these two teams have met this season. East Mississippi did win the Mac JC North last year. Lady Tigers, of course, last year, 2-20. They've already matched their win total from last season, but Denitra Forrest and Sean Goff, the coaches for this Lady Tiger team, really not satisfied with where they are at. They want more, and they are trying their best to get these victories. Of course, Forrest and Goff, both accustomed to plenty of success. Forrest was a an assistant coach at Jones County Mac JC State Champs last year. Sisk is going to be fouled trying to drive right there. Pardon, it looked like it was called away from the ball on Ariel Jones. But Forrest was the coach at Jones County for a number of years, assisting coach. Held them to a great season last year. Goff and Forrest, of course, played together on the Old Miss Elite Eight team in 2007. Both of them know how to win, and it's only a matter of time before the wins start racking up for the Lady Tigers, I'm sure. Ashley Johnson racks that one up right there, getting the layup to make it 25-21 in terms of 
or pardon, in favor of East Mississippi. Totten pressured there, had to go off her foot. Goes pass to Sisk, Sisk to Jones. Jones bumps her defender a little bit. Back to Totten, that one was nearly picked off. Totten will pull up, no good. Jones right there for the rebound though, can't finish. Ball is knocked out of bounds, it will stay on this end. That's the good news. But the Lady Tigers having a little bit of trouble finishing off possessions here in the very recent minutes. So they can turn it around. Totten on the inbound. Lady Tigers will move around for her. Blair, about a 10-footer there. Nothing doing. Rebound by Durham. And there's a whistle. It's going to be a foul. And it looks like it's going to go on just to Totten. Totten with her second foul in the last couple of minutes was just cited for the offensive charge about two minutes ago. That is the eighth team foul for the Lady Tigers. So EMCC will be in the bonus from here on out. Looks like Erica Collins is ready to check back into the game for the Lady Tigers. And she will lift Erika Blair from the contest. Phenomenal performance so far by Erika Collins. Leading scorer on the CCC team. Back to work though. Bree Jernigan on the line, shoots it at a 50% mark on the season. She'll take her time squaring this thing up. The one and one is no good, and the rebound is grabbed by Ariel Jones. Jones overall on the season, averaging about five and a half rebounds per contest. Totten working against Jones, that's Cindy Jones, gets a pick. Brings it back out though, goes to Sisk. 14 on the shot clock, Amber. Tries to loft one up to Collins. Collins jumps up to try to grab it. It was knocked out of bounds, and it will remain CCC ball. Trying to run it down there was Tyria Vaughn, a sophomore forward, making her 13th appearance for EMCC this year. They'll sub Cambriel Campbell back in the game as Totten lost one to Collins. Oop, no good. Rebound grabbed by East Mississippi, Ashley Johnson. Gives it out to Campbell, who will work against Leonard near side. Gets it across the timeline on a bounce pass there to Jones. Jones trying to drive on Sisk. Back to number 30, Vaughn, who couldn't finish it off. Ball is loose, and it is going to be Lady Tiger possession. Vaughn, after the miss, is cited for a pushing foul. And now Sisk is going to inbound here on our end. See the Lady Tiger cheerleaders? They're out here supporting the men's and women's basketball team. This is our first game of our doubleheader here tonight at the Pinnacle. Man will tip off at about 8 p.m. Jones swings it around to Leonard. Leonard working against Campbell. Gets it inside to Collins. Collins into the lane. Pull up. Oh, baby. That's Erica Collins for you, folks. Just deadly from the paint. Knocking that one down. And CCC is back within two. Campbell against Leonard, bounce pass here to Jones. Jones, three ball, in and out. Rebound by Collins, strong as always. She's averaging 15 and eight on the season. Talk to Denise Forrest about Collins' future. She's drawn some interest, some very serious interest, in fact, from Southern Miss. I'm sure she will continue her basketball career at the next level. Sisk, who should continue her career as well. Can't get that one. Kiki Patterson on the bound, trying to go coast to coast. Pull up, no good. Sisk wrestling it away. It's a jump ball, and it will be EMCC's. Sisk fighting valiantly there against Tierra Vaughn down near the bucket. Ariel Jones is going to come off the floor now. Chantrell Williams into the game for the first time here this evening. Inbound by Campbell. Looking for someone. Quick shot there by Johnson was no good. Lady Tigers on the rebound. Leonard slipped there about midcourt. You can see her get up there. She looks like she's okay. Totten, 2.05 on the game clock, under 20 on the shot clock. Goes over to Williams. Williams will hold it above her head. Go to Leonard. Leonard looking to work it inside to Collins. Collins, turn around, fade away. Nothing doing. It's knocked out of bounds, and it will be EMCC possession. Collins being told here by Forrest on the sideline to not fade away. Erica, multifaceted player down there on the block. Maybe should have attacked there, but of course that is up to her. She's got the better judgment than I do. She's had a phenomenal season, but being told by Forrest there to maybe not fade away. Pull up by Patterson, and she gets that one. Drains it, 27-23. Buck 30 to go. Totten, other way. He'll bring it right across the emblem. 
Going right against Kiki Patterson. Gives it to Williams. Williams picks up the dribble back to Sisk. Sisk. Over to Collins. Collins looking to drive, and she is fouled on that attempt. Erica Collins going stronger to the hoop there. Gets a hand up from Tyria Yvonne, and she is going to go to the line 4-2. Collins is an excellent free throw shooter. She's the tallest person on the team. Of course, is the only player who's really a true center for CCC, but contrary to the stereotype about centers, Erica Collins is excellent from the stripe. In fact, leads the team in free throw percentage. Can't get that one. She's now 46 of 67 on the season. Can cut this EMCC lead back down to four. Collins averaging 14.9 points per game. She scored 164 points on the season, at least coming into the game here this evening. Right now, she's sitting on four points on the game. Of course, her minutes have been limited here in the first half. She knocks that down to get her total up to five. And make this a 27-24 game. It's within one possession once again. EMCC trying to change that. Swinging around a little bit. Totten marking against Durham. She goes over to Jernigan. Jernigan going against Leonard. Gives it up to Campbell. Campbell works it inside to Gibbs. And it's a foul on the arm. Much to the chagrin of this CCC crowd. Erica Collins playing some tough defense. The referee said that she got the shooter. Gibbs on the arm. Forrest protesting that. You can see that on the bottom of your screen. I'm not sure about that call, folks. It is going to officially go down as the second personal on Erica Collins. That's the ruling. We'll have to abide by it. First one here by Gibbs, and she rolls it home, hit the front iron, hit the glass, and dropped it in. Gibbs on the season, best free throw shooter on the team, or one of the best for this East Mississippi squad. Shoots it at a 74% pace. Second of two, nothing doing. Rebound run down by Sisk, and Sisk is going to go the other way. Amber, she's got a pair of threes in this game, tries to drive it back to Totten. 47 seconds to go in the half. Chantrell Williams at the free throw line. Nothing doing there against Gibbs. Goes back out to Totten. Totten with 17 on the shot clock. Goes over to Sisk. Sisk near wing. Brings it back toward the center. Now she gets herself some space. Pulls up. Oh, can't rattle it home. In and out for Amber Sisk. It is going to remain Lady Tigers ball. I think that it hit off Alicia Gibbs there. And now the Lady Tigers with a fresh shot clock. In fact, they'll actually turn the shot clock off are going to control here under the bucket. 29 seconds to go here in the first half. Totten throws it back to Sisk. Sisk put it on the ground, gets to some more space, fires no good. Rebound run down there in the corner by Campbell. It went out of bounds though, and it looked like she hit it off of a Lady Tiger. We will go the other way. East Mississippi with the basketball. Lady Lions control. Bree Jernigan across the stripe working against Leonard. Gets a pick, gets to the block. Travel. And they are going to wave the basket off. Look like they're going to call a foul on the floor. It's going to remain EMCC possession with 11 ticks to go on the game clock. Here in the first half, Chantrell Williams sided with a blocking foul there. And unfortunately, East Mississippi is now in the double bonus. Two shots here for Bree Jernigan coming up. Jernigan, a freshman guard, making her 13th appearance of the season for the Lady Lions. Averages two and a half points a game, 50% free throw shooter. First one, no good. It was double bonus. Collins ran down the rebound but it does not amount to anything. Jernigan, two points in this game so far. Right now, Lady Lions are being led, looks like, by Kiki Patterson. Patterson with six. Jernigan, her second, nothing doing. Collins is going to grab the rebound. Nine seconds here. Totten trying to go far side, pulls it back. She's trapped by a couple of Lady Lions in Lady Tiger territory, splits them, and tries to go to Leonard, but time does expire. The clock... 
up in all Kahoma CC. They've knocked down 75% of their free throws after missing 23 versus Heinz Utica. Lady Tigers 25% from beyond the arc. Amber Sisk has knocked down a pair of big threes. She is leading the way for the Lady Tigers right now with eight points. Erica Collins has five and five rebounds. Ariel Jones trying to find Collins there on a backdoor cut in the lane. She threw it out of bounds. It will be Lady Lions ball on their own baseline. East Mississippi trying to nudge back over the 500 mark. Get to 7-6 and six on the season. Lady Tigers looking for the first win since November 11th. Sisk jumped in that passing lane. Couldn't get the steal. Luckily, Camry Jones couldn't finish it off. Ariel Jones with the board. Believe that's three now for her on the game. Totten pushing it ahead here to Howard. Howard gets into the lane and lays it home. Wow, Ashley Howard now with four points in the contest. Somehow getting through the East Mississippi defense and kissing it off the glass. Two-point ball game once again. It's Camry Jones near wing. Goes to Gibbs. Gibbs fires it over to Durham. Durham beats Totten, who was stuck in the passing lane. Lady Tigers can't come up with the rebound. And Ashley Johnson makes some pay. Johnson, averaging almost 10 and 10 per game on the season, gets her first points of the second half and her seventh overall. Totten back to Howard. Howard holding it above the head, being worked on by Jones. Now it's Collins who's going to pull up on Johnson too short. Ariel Jones with the rebound, one on the offensive glass, and she is rejected. Looks like it's going to go against Alicia Gibbs, who got her on the arm as Jones went for that short jumper. Ariel now finds herself on the stripe. Overall on the season, Jones shoot, shooting it 61.2% from the line. Puts it up and in, 27. Now the total for CCC. Jones, her line right now, Five points to go along with, I believe, four rebounds. Fires that one too short. Rebound East Mississippi. Patterson pushes it ahead and can't convert the layup. Or pardon, that was Harper who could not convert the layup. She's missed a few of those tonight. Totten will bring it across the stripe for the Lady Tigers. Calls a play, gives it over to Howard. Howard being marked by Jones. Gets a pick from Collins, crosses over Jones. Thought about a pull-up, now is going to drive it back. Maybe not, she's still holding it. Finally goes back to Totten. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Totten trying to get herself some space. She goes to Howard, three ball, no good. Rebound East Mississippi. It was Gibbs grabbing it. Going to Patterson who called for it. Now they work it inside to Johnson and Johnson finishes it off. Jones to Johnson, makes it a 32-27 game. Couple of subs waiting here for the Lady Tigers. Howard is going to bring it up. Camry Jones marks her. Jones, a freshman guard who averages just over 11 a game. Totten now, trying to get to the block, pulls it up and nothing doing. Air ball there from Totten. Camry Jones vacuumed it up. And East Mississippi will once again be on the attack. Patterson holding near the center emblem. Gave it up there briefly to Jones. Now it's in Jones' hands again. Jones trying to drive against Ariel Jones. Puts it up too short. Rebound by Ariel Jones. Continuing to clean up the glass here in the second half. Howard putting the mouth guard in. She gets it across the timeline over to Totten. Totten to Collins. Collins trying to drive. Spin move. Pull up. Foul call. This one's going to go against Ashley Johnson. And Collins is going to head to the free throw line. Erica Collins right on pace for another double-double at halftime with five points, five rebounds. So far, one for two in the contest from the stripe. Best free throw shooter on the team. 22 years old from Clarksdale, Mississippi. No good there. And Collins a little bit frustrated with herself. Looks scared. Skyward as she got the encouraging hand slap from Ashley Howard. A couple of subs here for the Lady Tigers. Arika Blair back in the game. Collins, second of two. Yes, indeed. Erica Collins 
Makes it a four point game once again. Chantrell Williams is going to check into the game and it looks like she's going to pull Collins off the floor. Just three minutes in to this second half. Collins, two fouls so far in the contest. She will spend a little time on the bench before coming in for the stretch run. Patterson working against Howard. Picks up her dribble, works it inside to Johnson. Johnson gives it up and East Mississippi converts again near the hoop. This time it was Alicia Gibbs. Makes it a two possession game, or pardon, just increases the lead for the Lady Lions. Howard picked up by a couple of East Mississippi players. Goes over the head to Totten, who lost it into Chantrell Williams. Williams to Sisk. Sisk thinks three, can't get it. Rebound TJ Harper. Patterson near side. Totten will try to stop her, and she does. Knocks it away. Totten with a steal. And now she's going to go right down central, attack the hoop. She lost it. It was knocked away. And Durham came up with it. Durham tried to go coast to coast. Lofted that one up. Nothing doing. It hit off of a Lady Lion, and it will be Lady Tiger ball. Think the ball went off of Ashley Johnson. So the Lady Tigers, after some quick play, will get a chance to catch their breath here. As EMCC subs in a couple of new players. Looks like Campbell is back on the floor. Harper will grab some bench. Sisk will inbound here. Totten and Howard in the backcourt. Sisk over to Totten. Totten trying to bring it down central once again. Great downhill player. Josta Totten, very fast. Ran track in high school. Trying to turn a corner here on Durham. Gives it back to Howard. Howard trying to drive. She tries to dish to Blair. She was blocked. Whistle on the floor. Let's see who this goes against. It is going to be on number 25, Shannon Defoe. That is the third team foul here in the second half for the Lady Lions. They were in the double bonus in the first half. Now maybe giving that chance to the Lady Tigers, or so it would appear if they would were to keep it up. Totten fires a three too short. Blair tries to grab the rebound, but Johnson wins it. Campbell pushing it, pulls up, stops the flow, gives it to Johnson. Johnson after the pump fake, nothing doing. Ball's hit out of bounds, and it will be the Lady Tigers' possession. Shannon Defoe getting in near the hoop there and swatting it out of bounds. Sisk once again here on the inbound. 15-24 to go here in the second half. Great game going on right now. 34-28, East Mississippi leads. Lady Tigers dominated a significant stretch of the first half but trailed by four at halftime. East Mississippi leading this period so far by two. Totten gets a pick from Williams, pulls up a three. Off the mark, rebound by Shannon Defoe. Totten with one three-pointer in this game. Kiki Patterson gets to the block over Blair. Can't get it, Johnson blocked there by Jones. There's a whistle and that is not Jones, pardon, that was Chantrell Williams who got her on the arm. Chantrell Williams, the personal there. That's the first team foul for the Lady Tigers here in the second half. 14.56 to go. Looks like Collins is getting ready to sub back in. East Mississippi will send a new player in here shortly as well. Ashley Johnson on the free throw line. Shoots it at a 77% clip. Second best on this East Mississippi team. She misses that one. And Collins is going to check back into the game, relieving Chantrell Williams of her duty. Howard, Collins, Sisk, Totten, and Blair out there for CCC right now. They're in the all-white uniforms. East Mississippi is in black. Johnson goes one for two, 35-28. We've got ourselves a football score. Collins waiting for someone to get open. Tries to just hand it to Totten. Now she's in danger of committing a five-second violation. And that looks like is what happened. No, they're going to say that the Lady Tigers were able to call time before that five seconds expired. Denitra Forrest over here to my right, making that call for her team as Collins struggled to get it in. Lady Tigers avoiding their second five-second violation of the evening. We're going to go ahead and go to a short 15-second break, folks, and then be right back here on KahomaSports.com, your home for Tiger and Lady Tiger Athletics.
the Lady Tigers looking to turn things around. Their cheer coming out of that last huddle was pick it up. Unfortunately, Totten not able to pick up that inbound attempt from Arika Blair. Ball out of bounds and back in the hands of East Mississippi. They've turned it on as of late, a 500 ball club. Not a great shooting team, but they do pretty good work on the glass and shoot free throws very well. Weren't too hot from the stripe in the first half, but the better team so far here in the second period. Patterson trying to turn a corner on Collins. Collins knocked it away briefly. Now it's Johnson who feeds it inside, and it's more points for the Lady Lions. Shannon Defoe, the one kissing that off the glass. 37-28. Lady Lions knocking on the door of their first double-digit lead of the night. Totten picks it up off the ground, goes to Collins. Collins. Near elbow, trying to spin against her defender. Pull up. Oh, Erica Collins. You got to be kidding me. Smooth move down low. 37-30. Now the score. My, oh, my. Collins, no space, so she made her own. Now up to eight points on the game. She's looking to get into double figures here. Nearly got a steal there, but they're going to call a foul on her first. Not sure what that was, folks. They're going to call it a push, but it looked like it was a clean steal from the always ferocious defender, Erica Collins. Boy, she never stops giving 110%, folks. We've been on the wrong end of some blowout losses this year, and Collins has always just gone as hard as she can. Patterson gets a screen there, picks up her dribble, gives it to Johnson. Johnson works it inside there to to Defoe, her shot no good, and Totten able to grab that rebound. Josta across the emblem, guarded by Campbell. Totten trying to set something up, and now we have a whistle on the floor. It looks like it's going to go against Collins away from the ball down there on the low post. Referee says that she pushed someone. I didn't see it again. It was away from the play. Collins, though, is going to head to the bench. And Thompson, she's assisted by Michael Morgan. And Miss Thompson is out on the court right now. You can't see her on your screen at this moment, but she's talking with the referees. She does not like what she's seen from Erica Collins. Honestly, though, I haven't seen anything different out of Collins than we've seen all season. Just good, clean, physical play from the six-foot center from Clarksdale, Mississippi. She's on the bench, though, with four fouls and looks like the dislike of Sharon Thompson, the East Mississippi coach Thompson, not happy with the Lady Tigers star. Bree Jernigan working against Totten. Gives it over to Camry Jones. Tr Jones tried to get in the lane, gives it to Jernigan. Three ball, too short. Totten reels it in. Trying to go the, down the near sideline, dribbles it behind the back, gets it across the timeline. Todd and assist. Lady Tigers trying to get something going here. They were down by nine just a couple of minutes ago, or perhaps just a minute ago. Now down by just seven. Howard. Nothing doing on the drive. Gets it to Blair on the elbow. Blair power dribble. She was tripped up. It's a foul on East Mississippi. I think it's going to go against Jernigan, and that is indeed the case. Jernigan obstructing the pass, uh, path of Arika Blair there as she tried to go to the bucket. Jernigan, a 5-2 freshman out of Tupelo High School in Tupelo, Mississippi. Howard, inbound to Sisk. Sisk with a fresh shot clock here. Gives it up to Totten. 12.49 to go here in regulation. Sisk, once again, very tightly guarded here by Campbell, trying to make herself some space. Tries an impossible runner off the side of the backboard. Williams swatted away. Jernigan ends up with it. She pushes it forward to Jones, and Jones is the one who is going to get the glory. 39-30 as Camry Jones gets some transition points. Jones, a 5'7 freshman from Houston, Mississippi, graduated from Nettleton High School last year. And gets a bucket there on the CCC end. Lady Tigers trying to respond. Howard sizing up the defense. Tried to drive, had it poked away. Looked like Jones was the one doing the poking. Johnson ended up with the ball. Now she was fouled by Chantrell Williams. Looks like the Lady Tigers will execute another substitution here. Jasmine Leonard back into the game. Leonard 
three fouls in the first half, but back here for the Lady Tigers as we get under 12 to go in the second half. Camry Jones, far wing, working against Sis. She passed it off. We have a whistle, though, before that, and it is going to go against East Mississippi. Shannon Defoe, a 5'11 sophomore from Detroit, Michigan, graduate of Romulus High School, pushing there away from the ball. She's cited for a personal. That's the fourth team foul for the Lady Lions here in the second half. Leonard off the inbound here from Sisk. Brings it back to Totten. Little weave there for the Lady Tigers. Creates some space as East Mississippi drops back. Lady Tigers haven't really been able to get to the cup here much in the second half. But just out there on the perimeter. Get some stifling Lady Lions defense. Sisk picks up the dribble. Over to Blair. Blair trying to work it inside to Williams. It went off Williams' hand. Williams tries to grab it. It's a loose ball. Jasmine Leonard comes up with it, and it's going to be a jump. Possession arrow is in favor right now of East Mississippi. So Leonard, though she made a great hustle play, is going to have to surrender the ball back to the Lady Lions. Chantrell Williams is trying to run that thing down. Jasmine Leonard in the back court ended up pouncing on it. But so did a couple of Lady Lions. Lady Tigers will have the possession arrow till our next jump ball. Vaughn inbounds it to Jones. Back to Vaughn now Jones. Jones gives it off to Jernigan. Feeds it inside there to Vaughn. Little pick and roll type thing there. Campbell though lost it. Leonard picks it up. Gives it over to Todd and Lady Tigers. It's a good defense right there. Under 11, Chantrell Williams powering her way into the lane and getting a bounce. Glass rim, glass rim, and get it on down. 39-32. Chantrell Williams cuts the lead back to seven. Bree Jernigan working against Totten. Totten a little bit too eager there. Now it's Campbell in the corner off the back iron. Rebound Ashley Johnson. And she's tied up. Chantrell Williams ends up grabbing a loose ball. Totten trying to go to the cup. Fires it up, and she is fouled. Josta Totten, little circus loft there as she was hit by Jernigan. Jernigan now with, I believe, two fouls in this half and two fouls overall. Josta Totten, good free throw shooter, will find herself at the line here with a chance to reduce the lead back down to a five. Perfect swish on the first. Jasta overall on the season shooting it at 63%, a 63% pace from the free throw line. That is good enough for third on the team, and she is first on the team in free throw attempts. So a very familiar spot for the young lady from Itabena, Mississippi. Perfect in the trip, 39-34. Lady Tigers on a 4-0 run. Jernigan over to Patterson. Patterson works it inside there to Gibbs. Nice move, but she can't finish. Chantrell Williams ending up with the rebound. Johnson Totten will bring it across once again. Lady Tigers can make it a one-possession game. Totten turns on the speed to the block. Looked like she was fouled there by Gibbs. No call, though, and now it's Patterson on the other end. She makes the extra pass to Durham. Unfortunately, that was not the right decision. Durham couldn't handle it. It's out of bounds. And now it's Lady Tiger ball on the sideline. Under 10 to go, and things starting to get very interesting here in the pinnacle. Chantrell Williams on the football pass from Sis. She has it stolen, though, by Gibbs. Patterson ahead to Durham. Durham thinks three, goes toward the cup, can't finish the layup. Blair grabbed the board, but it won't count. There's a whistle, and it is going to go against Erika Blair. Blair blocking. That is a foul on the Lady Tigers, their sixth team foul, and I believe that's Erika Blair's second foul of the game, confirmed by our stat crew here. They always do a fine job for the broadcast and for the team in general. Anicia Durham, a 68% free throw shooter, can't convert on the first. Shannon Defoe is going to sub back into the game for East Mississippi. Durham, freshman guard. Four 
Fires once again. Off the front iron, Blair and Williams miscommunicate on the rebound, but Williams does end up with it. Now it's Totten bringing it across the equator. Totten against Bree Jernigan. Jasta to the elbow to Williams. Williams, nice spin move. Now she dumps it off to Blair, but that ball is going to go out of bounds. Williams trying to make that pass, that little dump to Arika Blair. It was cutting toward the cup, unfortunately. It was lost in translation, and it remains a five-point game. East Mississippi swinging it around. Durham going against Totten, gives it to Jernigan, who gets into the lane, dumps it off to Shannon Defoe, and Defoe puts it home. We have a timeout on the floor. East Mississippi called it. Lady Lions locked up in a good one. 9.07 to go, 41-34 in favor of the visitors. For the time being, Amber Sisk and Erica Collins are leading the way for the Lady Tigers. Both of them have eight points. Sisk is your inbounder. Collins is on the bench right now. Sisk, bounce pass here to Leonard. Leonard going back to Sisk. Ferocious press here from East Mississippi. Williams. Gets it as it crosses the timeline. She throws it off the thigh of Shannon Defoe. Ball hits off the scorer's table right in front of me. And the Lady Tigers will once again go to the inbounding game. Sisk over the top to Totten, who's guarded by Durham. Totten will set things up. Sisk near wing against Kiki Patterson. She just holds. Goes over to Blair, now it's Leonard. Leonard from White Station High in Memphis. Over to Sisk, Sisk bounce pass high over to Williams. Williams turn around, she's fouled. Couldn't get an and one opportunity, but is going to head to the line for a pair. Chantrell Williams nearly rattled that thing home. Fortunately, it fell off of the rim. And Chantrell is scoreless for the moment on the trip, but she can change that in rapid fashion by knocking down this, the first of two free throws. Too strong off the back iron from Williams, shooting it at a 42% pace from the free throw line on the year. She's now 25 of 61 on the season from the charity stripe. Too short on that one, Chantrell Williams, the sophomore from Greenwood, can't convert on either attempt. 41-34 remains our score. Bree Jernigan being picked up by Leonard, gives it up to Patterson. Now it's Johnson, Camry Jones controls. Jones, after one dribble, gives it back to Jernigan. Over to Patterson. Patterson, three ball. Yes, indeed. 44-34. East Mississippi with their first 10-point lead of the contest. Totten being swarmed here by a couple of East Mississippi defenders. It's poked away by Jones, and Jones is going to streak toward the bucket, uses the right hand on the left-hand side, and does roll it on down. 46-34, biggest lead of the game for East Mississippi. We told you at the beginning of the broadcast, East Mississippi averages about 61 points a game, about on par or on pace for that number as Williams is fouled on that layup attempt. She'll head to the line once again for a pair of opportunities. Lady Tigers overall on the season averaging 68.4 points per game. They are well under that pace. Offense has not been the best we've seen all year from the Lady Tigers, but plenty of time to turn it around. Williams knocks down that first free throw to that effect. Williams now one of three from the line. Chantrell overall tonight. Now with three points, make that four as she converts to move to two of four from the charity stripe on the evening. Camry Jones, loft pass there to Gibbs. It went off Gibbs' hands and it will be Lady Tiger basketball. Good break here for CCC. Sisk trying to get open for Totten. That ball's intercepted. Camry Jones with the pickoff, spin move, tries to get it off the glass. No good. Patterson there for the rebound. She can't get it. Totten trying to push it. It was briefly knocked away by Campbell. Totten grabbed it before it went out of bounds. And now she'll slow things down. Justin Totten against Cambriel Campbell. Williams trying to set her a pick. Totten went the other way. Campbell here on the ground grabs it, and we have a timeout 
from EMCC. Cambria. And welcome back to KahomaSports.com, your home for Tiger and Lady Tiger Athletics. My name is Joey Zanaboni saying thank you so much for being with us on KahomaSports.com tonight. Lady Tigers, Lady Lions going at it. Lady Tigers will be back in action after this game against Southern University Shreveport at home as Totten gets the block there on Kiki Patterson. It will be, as I said, that game against Southern at home. Port City Jags coming to town for homecoming. Totten forcing that jump ball right there. Very, very good defense from Totten. And it is Lady Tigers' possession. Game will be at 1 on Saturday, and then the men will play at 3. Sisk throws it away after a miscommunication with Totten. Camry Jones dumps it down to Campbell, and Campbell is going to have a chance for an and-one opportunity. Cambriel Campbell being patient there, drawing a foul, putting it up, and getting a roll. She's going to head to the line. We'll check to see exactly who that one was on. And it will go against Jasmine Leonard. That was Leonard's fourth. She's going to jag off and being replaced here. Campbell trying to make it a three-point play, and she'll do just that, 49-36. Should be a lot of fun, folks, at the homecoming game on Saturday. We have some Hall of Fame inductions. We have a couple of dance teams are coming out to perform. We've got some great basketball on tap. Plenty of good times. Again, that is Saturday, January 17th, games at 1 and 3. We'll see you right here on the campus of CCC. East Mississippi gobbles up the Lady Tiger miss, and they cannot get any points out of it themselves as Gibbs misses the easy layup. Sis grabbed the rebound, went out to Totten. Totten trying to go coast to coast. It's going to be a whistle on the floor. Shot by Totten won't count. She was blocked before that. Kiki Patterson is the one who committed the violation, a blocking violation on her. And that was the seventh team foul of the half for the Lady Lions. So Lady Tigers now in the bonus. Jasta Totten leading the team in free throw attempts to the stripe. Again, Sisk and Collins right now leading the, the way for the Lady Tigers. Totten, though, has five points. Sisk and Collins both have eight. Jasta. One and one opportunity. You got it, Josta Totten makes it a 49-37 game. Lead down to just a dozen now for the Lady Lions. They've opened things up here in the second half. We went into the locker rooms though with CCC only trailing by four. Very evenly played first period. Lady Lions really turning it on here, though, in the second half. Totten goes two for two from the stripe to reduce the lead to 11. Campbell is the one controlling, being marked tightly by Sisk. She turns on the gas, though, and gets to the cup. Too easy there for Cambriel Campbell. Lead up to 15 now for EMCC. Or, pardon, up to 13 for EMCC as we get under the six-minute mark. Howard holding it on the emblem. 18 on the shot clock. Gives it over to Totten. Josta puts it on the parquet, trying to turn a corner. Gets it to the block, throws it up and in. Josta Totten, pretty play there. Great speed out of Totten, and she does finish at the rim. 51-40, five and a half to go. EMCC pre preparing another sub. Kiki Patterson holds it on the near wing. Patterson second on the team in points right now. Pardon. No, that is indeed correct. She is second right now with nine points. Ashley Johnson leading the way for the Lady Lions with 10. She's going to put that one up there. Can't get it off the glass. Chantrell Williams gobbles it up. It's Totten, Howard, Williams, Collins, and Sisk. Collins has four fouls on the game. Howard dumps it in here to Williams. Williams pulls up, no good. Rebound there by Tyria Vaughn. Platoon system on display all night for the Lady Lions. They've sent in a lot of subs. It's in contrast to the Lady Tigers, who have struggled with injuries and other issues. They have a very limited lineup. Played with a depleted bench in the first semester, and it looks like that will continue over here into the second semester. Patterson goes down low to Vaughn, working against Williams. Williams knocks it away. Good defense there. Kiki Patterson gets the loose ball, fires it up as the shot clock expires, and does indeed knock it down. 
There's a timeout now called on the floor. That was a long two. Home versus Itawamba. February 2nd will be at Holmes. Then February 12th, back here in Clarksdale versus Northwest Mississippi Community College. Right now, Lady Tigers just trying to overcome this tough East Mississippi press. And Howard loses it there under the bucket. Durham makes her pay, putting in the easy lay-in. Lady Tigers may be looking for a foul there. That one's knocked away from Sisk. And coming up with it is Robin Rush. Johnson over to Durham. Durham just holds. Waves Camry Jones over. Jones goes over to Patterson. Patterson inside here to Rush. Rush turn around blocked by Collins. Oh, Collins. A brick wall, nothing doing there for Robin Rush. Collins averaging a block a game, and she gets hers for the evening, but Howard turns it, away, turns it over on the other end. East Mississippi makes her pay, finishing it off on the other end is Camry Jones. Biggest lead of the night now for East Mississippi, 57-40. We'll go ahead and go to a short break. I'm your home for Tiger and Lady Tiger Athletics. Things have taken a turn for the worst for the Lady Tigers here in the second half. They now trail by 17 after heading into the break down only four, and they really are just struggling to break this EMCC press. Ariel Jones calls it all eight of her points in the first period. Kiki Patterson is leading the way right now for East Mississippi. She has 13. Howard is going to take her turn in bounding it here. She got it in, but there was a whistle right as she was throwing the ball. I think it's going to be a foul here on the Lady Lions, and that is indeed the case. Cambriel Campbell called for a push there, and that is going to be the ninth team foul of the game for the Lady Lions, or pardon, not of the game, but of the half for the Lady Lions of East Mississippi. One more will put the Lady Tigers in the double bonus. Campbell pushed Amber Sisk, and so Sisk is going to be the one at the line, a one-and-one -one opportunity for the young lady from Oxford, Mississippi. Sisk shoots it well from the free throw line, a 68% mark on the season. Raindrop off the front iron. Collins grabs the rebound, goes up strong, and she was fouled there. Erica Collins pulling up for the short jumper, and she was fouled by Shannon Defoe, who got her on the arm. That's a 10th team foul for the Lady Lions, who will sub in here before Collins takes her two free throw attempts. 3.28 to go here in the first half. We'll go ahead and check in on Collins' official line. We do know that she has eight points right now. First of two, perfect swish for the team leader in free throw percentage, Erica Collins. Collins, overall this game, eight points to go along with six rebounds, no assists. That one's good, pardon, that was ten points. The first one was her ninth and the second her tenth. So Collins into double figures now in terms of scoring. Campbell. Gives it up, now EMCC is going to work it around. It's Jones over to Campbell once again. Campbell, a little bounce pass there to Durham. Durham trying to drive. Collins, looked like she got a piece of that one. Rebound here by Rush, tries to go back up and she's fouled by, I believe it was Josta Totten. Looked like Collins was going straight up. Josta Totten is called for the foul there. Collins in real foul trouble, she has four. Just checked back into the game a couple of minutes ago. So she has to be extra careful here. Three minutes remaining, Lady Tigers trail by 15. Come back, certainly not out of the question, but Collins is going to have to be on the floor for any chance of that happening. Robin Rush, a sophomore forward on the stripe for a pair, a 74% free throw shooter. Can't get that one. Rush, 5'10", out of Preston, Mississippi, graduate of Kemper County High School. Takes a couple of bounces, one more, and now fires it off. Yes, indeed. 58-42. Rush blocking out the Kahoma crowd. Howard going coast to coast. Wow. Ashley Howard really showing a knack for getting to the cup in this game. She's got six. Four of those points have come on beautiful drives by the newcomer Ashley Howard. Just activated here this semester. Campbell being guarded here by Howard. Gives it up to Durham. Durham back to Campbell. 
Two and a half to go. Under 10 on the shot clock. Campbell trying to drive. Drew some contact, and she's headed to the line. Ashley Howard commits the foul there. It was a block on her, and Campbell goes to the stripe. Ninth team foul this half for the Lady Tigers. Campbell first of two, nowhere close. Really left something to be desired on that one. The five foot five freshman from Clinton, Mississippi is usually a good free throw shooter. In fact, shoots it at a 78% clip from the line. That's second best on this East Mississippi outfit. But really missing badly there. Tries to redeem herself, can't get it. Rebound was grabbed by East Mississippi, but it won't count as Camry Jones went over the back of Ariel Jones. Jones is headed to the stripe herself. Could be a battle of free throws, or at least we will see a lot of free throws down the stretch here. Both teams will be in the double bonus, at least when the next foul is committed by the Lady Tigers that will put these Lady Lions in that double area. Jones knocking down the first there. We'll check on her stat line. Ariel, pretty good game for her. She's got six points, and now she's got seven. Ariel Jones makes it a 58-46 game. Remember to check Comasports.com shortly after the game, folks. We will have stats and game story from this one posted by tomorrow afternoon. East Mississippi swinging it around, nursing this clock. We're hit, about to hit the two minute mark. Johnson, forget about wasting time. She goes off the glass, 60-46. Now for East Mississippi. They played very good defense so far here against the Lady Tigers, holding the Lady Tigers to 22 points below their season average. Howard there off the front rim. East Mississippi not incredibly impressive on the offensive end, but they've done enough to get this big lead. They save it there, and now they're going to hold and dribble a little bit more time off of this clock. Campbell to Vaughn on the high post. She hands it off to Jones. Jones finds Campbell in the corner, marked by Howard. Back out to Patterson. Patterson through the legs, working against Totten. Trying to drive, pushes off, fade away, got it. I don't know why there wasn't a foul called on that play, but there was clearly a push there. Unfortunately, it's more EMCC points, no whistle. And now it's 62-46. Collins tries to respond, it won't roll home. Johnson on the rebound, we're under a minute to go now. Looks like East Mississippi is going to win this one. Cambriel Campbell. Gives it to Patterson. Patterson really the star of the game for the Lady Lions. She was at 13 last time I checked. Blue, she's at 15 now. A little bit of weaving here for EMCC. Patterson gets it to Johnson, who's also in double figures. She goes to Vaughn. Now it's Patterson, nothing doing. Collins gets a defensive rebound now with seven. On the glass here tonight, goes to Totten. Shot clock has been turned off. We hit the 22nd mark. Ball goes out of bounds. It will remain Lady Tiger possession. Again, Lady Tigers back in action this Saturday against Southern University Shreveport at home. Collins, Sisk, now Totten, corner triple. No good. Vaughn on the bound, and EMCC may just run the clock out on this one. 1 p.m. start time on Saturday, CCC versus S-U-S-L-A right here in the Pinnacle Building. One second, now the buzzer goes off as Campbell dribbles out the clock.